What is up Smack Empire? Smack Empire here and welcome back to another Little Nightmares video on the channel. So the last time we talked about or covered Little Nightmares on the channel was Little Nightmares 2 Enhanced Playthrough. You can check that one out. But yesterday something was brought to my attention. Thanks to Super Horror Pro who found out through It's Just Jord. Both of them amazing. You can check them out. I mean I'm pretty sure you already know if you love Little Nightmares. And It's Just Jord found out through one of his fans something very interesting. So Little Nightmares 2 Enhanced Edition happened and that was that. We were all expecting for a DLC announcement but nothing happened. One of the interesting things with that Enhanced Edition was the Supermassive Games doing the port. See Supermassive Games are the developers behind Until Dawn and Dark Pictures Anthology. They made Man of Medan, Little Hope and the upcoming House of Ashes which I'm really looking forward to. But coming back to the topic at hand, with Tarzir Studios now doing their own thing with Embracer Group and Little Nightmares as a franchise as an IP left with Bandai Namco because they're the publishers. The future of the franchise is in question. Of course Bandai Namco said we would love to continue the series but we don't know which direction it's headed towards. But it seems to us that we got some idea of where it's going for now. It was noticed that on Bandai Namco's official website in a Little Nightmares section, there was something very interesting noticed. If you go to a Little Nightmares 2 section and you scroll down to downloadable content or DLC, you'll find the digital content bundle, the Gnomes Addict DLC and whatnot. Understand that all these are already out. They were out with the game, right? They're not technically like full-blown story DLCs, but they are DLCs. However, if all the downloadable content is out, what is that message on the right doing? If you look at it, it says, get ready for every upcoming DLC. And it says, sign me up. This is basically a newsletter for more future Little Nightmares news. That is number one. And number two is most specifically it is future Little Nightmares 2 news. What are they talking about with get ready for every upcoming DLC? Not just one DLC, but every upcoming DLC. Giving us a hint that it is more than one. So that means, ladies and gentlemen, that Bandai Namco was cut and clear with Tarzir Studios from the get-go. That just like Little Nightmares 1 where it had a couple of DLCs, Little Nightmares 2 will also have DLCs as well. See, back with the first game, it was actually quite obvious because, you know, Little Nightmares 2 was planned years ago when Little Nightmares 1 dropped, so we knew that Tarzir Studios will be working on this. It was unfortunate that Tarzir Studios left after Little Nightmares 2, so we didn't get any content roadmap, we didn't learn if there will be future DLCs, but we know for a fact that Bandai Namco wants to continue this franchise. So what's better way to do that than to give the already made assets to Supermassive Games and let them continue the vision that Tarzir Studio started. The assets, the story pieces are already there. In game files we found out that the comics that were dropped before the game dropped, their models were in the game files. The assets were in the game file. There were some unused game assets that were just never tackled in the main story that could be tackled in separate DLCs. Ponytail Girl, we have the Lollipop Guy, we have Wilderness chapter, hospital, school, like there's so much that you can do. There's that barber and we've made like tons of videos on it. The only question here is that who is continuing the Little Nightmares franchise? Whether Tarzir Studios, the main developer of Little Nightmares, they already had a contract with Ben and I'm going to continue till the DLC is and once the DLC is out, they can move on to their own thing. Or Bandai Namco got Supermassive Games to first of all get their hands into Little Nightmares franchise, you know, make this enhanced port. Once they understand the Little Nightmares and how it's whatever, then they can full-blown make some story DLCs, which basically they would have to follow the guide that is already given by Tarzir Studios in Little Nightmares and once they are done with that then they can start making Little Nightmares 3 which is very far in the future. So that is the situation so far in my personal opinion yes we will get to see a DLC sooner or later it should happen. It's just the question is who is handling it? I'm really excited. I'm really interested. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and decide to smack it by for more Little Nightmares content here on the channel. This is your go-to channel for more Little Nightmares stuff and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and peace.